Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Finman and today you are tuned in for Two Skirts, Two Ways. The first skirt that we are going to talk about is this amazing corduroy skirt. I featured this skirt before in another video and my love for it has not died at all. I love it so much. The Corduroy itself is super fine and the skirt just feels very elegant. It has a really fun floral pattern on it. It's almost like it kind of reminds me of the Renaissance or maybe even like Eastern European old school back then, but I love all the colors. There's different colors of red, white, blue, and tan. So there's lots of different ways that you can wear this skirt. And a couple ways that I've decided to wear this is with my black blazer that has that double polka dot theme going on all over. It's a runched blazer and it's also a jersey blazer. So it wears really well with layering different kinds of pieces underneath. It's not going to make you too hot. It's not lined on the inside, which I personally prefer. And it just kind of pulls everything together. The double polka dot is so small that you don't really notice it until you get a little bit closer. So I've decided to pair it with a herringbone pattern in an interesting way. Usually when you see herringbone, you see it in the black and white, which is what the skirt, the second skirt is. But this one is in two different kinds of red and the darker red is almost like a purple red. And when you put all of these things together, all of these different patterns, it just creates this really interesting outfit. When you're playing with this much pattern, it's a really good idea to make sure that you are looking at the scale of all of your patterns. So the skirt is definitely the hero of the pattern story here. The pattern is, it's not large, it's definitely a medium pattern, but it definitely steals the show as it should. So when you're pairing it with different patterns, it's really important to go even smaller. So the houndstooth is a little bit smaller than the floral pattern on the skirt and then the double polka dot on the jersey blazer is even smaller. And that's why you can definitely mix and match patterns, but you have to pay attention to scale. There always has to be a hero pattern of the outfit, so something that is the biggest or like the attention getter and everything else has to kind of fall in the background. But it doesn't mean that you can't wear the re different patterns together. So that is out outfit one. Outfit two with the corduroy skirt is a little bit more on the chic side, I would say. Anytime you add white to an outfit, it just draws the eye. So even though the skirt is kind of the most interesting thing about this outfit, you are drawn, people are going to be drawn to the white blouse. So if you want people to pay attention more to your face and what you're saying, if you're going to some kind of event where that's the goal of your outfit, then this is going to be a better option than outfit one, which is going to be more about the outfit and the interesting pattern play there. This one is going to just be a little bit, it's not relaxed, but it's not as intense with the pattern usage because there's only two patterns in the skirt and in the blazer and then you have this really nice white blouse with a little bit of detail and then just a little bit of shine to it. So you have your texture, you have your pattern, and you have your shine, and you have just a nice place for the eye to rest, which is going to be on the white blouse. So that is outfit two. Now we are getting into the second skirt of Two Skirts, Two Ways, and that is with the traditional houndstooth. Now just a little history of the houndstooth. When I see houndstooth, I immediately think about Dior Fashion House because in the late 1940s, like 1948, Christian Dior introduced some houndstooth into his new look, into his haute couture um, styles. And it just kind of became like houndstooth equals Dior. So then he introduced some shoes in houndstooth as well. 
and it just kind of went from there. Obviously, I do not have a Dior skirt, and <laughs> that is okay. This one is from Ann Taylor Loft, and I know I'm always wearing Ann Taylor Loft skirts, but I love them so much. The cut is just amazing, at least for me, and it just seems to work really well. So this is one of their shift skirts. I like this because it's kind of a play on that Dior houndstooth. It definitely has that traditional pattern of the black and white, but there's a little bit of a shimmer thread running through, so it makes it so great for holiday time or anytime you just want to kind of add a little glamour to your life. And you could go white and black, white and black, which is what I did in outfit two for this skirt or you could add a little bit of red. So the other fun thing about this outfit, besides doing an unexpected color, is that you're kind of playing with the dressiness scale of these two things. So this, for me, Aunt Taylor Loft calls this a stitchy sweater. I'm calling it kind of like a fisherman's sweater, or this is a sweater you could wear every day. You could like play football in it if that's something that you do, or you could go skiing or, you know, whatever. You can do anything in this sweater. There's, it doesn't say that it's super dressy. It doesn't say that it's super casual, but it definitely feels maybe a little bit more on the casual side. We're dressing it up with this necklace from Ever Eve with lots of sparkle, which I love, and the black, which is going to draw the skirt, the black and the skirt up. The other thing I love about this outfit is that it really plays with the dressiness scale. So you have this skirt that is in a very classic shape. It's in a shift. It's in a very classic pattern with maybe a slight amp up with the shimmer thread running through it. So you have that kind of glamour sophistication of the 1940s, 1950s meets casual, modern, woman on the go, stitchy red sweater. So you could pair this skirt with like a nicer maybe wool or cashmere that would be so gorgeous but I have kids and the kiddos have sticky fingers sometimes and I can't wear cashmere so I opted to go with a cotton crew neck and the texture on here I just think is really beautiful and it's really fun especially when you pair it with something a little bit more dressy. I feel like for winter, in fall, I was all about structure and just kind of like mixing in that masculine feminine. In winter, I really like mixing super dressy with a little bit more casual, and I just think it makes a really interesting outfit, and it makes you feel glamorous but not over the top glamorous if that makes sense so that is outfit one outfit two for me is again playing with that dressiness scale but this outfit I feel like you can go even more places outfit one is a little bit more on the casual side because of the sweater even though we're dressing it up with the necklace and the skirt this one walks that really interesting line between you could wear it to the office, you could wear it on a date, you could wear it to a holiday gathering, you could wear it picking up the kids. Anything you want to do, you can do in this outfit. So the color palette is super simple. And when your color palette is really simple, it's important to play with texture, shine, and pattern. And we have all of those things in this outfit. So obviously we have the shine going again through the skirt with some of that shiny thread running through the houndstooth and we have that classy sophistication going on here as well. Then we add in a moto jacket and a faux suede which says kind of like that 1990s Marc Jacobs just cool gal kind of vibe and I'm pairing it with a t-shirt. So again, playing with that casual and dressy scale and it just works. The buttons and kind of the zipper and fixtures on this jacket are silver. So I opted to go with a silver pendant and I think that without the silver pendant to break up the black, it doesn't work. So if you don't have this necklace or you don't have something silver, but you have a jacket with silver, get yourself a silver necklace just to break up 
the color, the wash of color that's happening on the top and your eye will still go up to the face, which is great. And I also like that this necklace is circular and then all these big buttons on the motor jacket are also circular. So together, I mean, it's just like, it's a chic color palette. It's a chic outfit and you can go anywhere and do anything in this. And if you change up your shoes, <laughs> you've just added like three additional outfits with not changing your clothes at all. And just by changing your hand handbag and your shoes. So that is outfit two. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on two skirts, two ways. I thought this was a really fun way to end 2022 and oh my goodness, I can't believe that this is my last fashion video of the year. But I just wanted to make sure that when we buy something that we can wear it multiple ways and I'm going to link my blog below because I kind of explain a few more ways that you can wear these skirts as well. But thank you again for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.